Tony, can I also say that was beautiful? Really touched us all so well. Uh, <laughs> lovely tribute. Jan and I would also like to extend a warm welcome to all of you here today. We have been waiting a long time for this day, particularly Jan. <laughs> you are here today because you are important in Heath and Julie's lives. Having been there from the beginning or joined them along life's journey. Heath, Mum and I haven't stopped smiling since the day you were born. You have brought so much joy to our lives. He's as, down there. as has Adam. But, <laughs> <coughs> but, 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 but today's about you. As your dad, I've had the pleasure of watching you grow from an adorable baby to the wonderful man you are today. We are so proud of your achievements, which commenced from an early age. You won a short story competition when you were 10. You won a scholarship to a private school. You scored a hat-trick in cricket. And now... And now you have won Julie's heart. <laughs> Mum and I admire so much about you. Perhaps your finest quality is how you easily forge friendships. Even when you were working in London for four years, you made the effort to maintain contact with your Australian friends Quite a few are here tonight. That's a special trait you have, one you got from your mum. Yes. Jan and I are over the moon that you won Julie's heart. Julie, you look absolutely divine. Yeah. Or as Jan would say, and as your d dad said, stunning. Yeah. Julie, family is of the utmost importance to you. And with that in mind, you have brought Heath and Adam so much closer together as brothers. We love you dearly and welcome you into the family as our daughter. Now for a moment, let's think on the sacred ceremony we witnessed today. So what is marriage? Well, it's having a friend who loves you as you are, who trusts you and helps you find the best in yourself through honesty and openness. Heath and Julie, as you travel life together, always remember to be kind, patient and understanding. Love and laugh a lot. Above all, communicate your needs to each other. Teresa and Tony, you have three beautiful children with strong values which you have instilled in them. We are thrilled that today our family has officially expanded with the merger of the Ewinges and the Pochies. Can I also ask you all to be upstanding as we toast the newly married couple? To Julie and Heath. Happiness forever. Yes. Okay. I'll hand you over to Jan, who'd also like to um, say a few words. And I assure you, it's only a few words. 
Yes, you may be seated, unless you want to stand for me. <laughs> and yes, we have waited many years for this wonderful day. But good things come to those who wait. Very good things. Hello everyone. I joyously echo the sentiments Frank expressed and on my behalf. And thank you, Heath, for finally giving me the gift of a daughter. <laughs> I knew from the beginning that Julie would be the woman who captured Heath's heart. How did I know this? Well, let me share with you the most important conversation I have had with my son, a conversation many mothers dream of having. And Tony, ironically, I'm going to segue from your, oh, your illiterate language, Italian language, of not being able to pronounce heat as eat, because eating does come into what I'm about to talk about. But before I do, you need some background information on heat. Some of you do. At the beginning of 2017, Heath decided to have a new eating regime, the keto diet, which is pretty much, to simplify it, no carbohydrates. And during that year, would you believe, not once did I see him deviate from that diet. If we were dining out, I would watch him eye off the chips that accompanied the meal his father ordered of a palmer or a steak. But not once did a chip pass his lips. And another fact you need to know before I share my most intimate conversation with Heath is he never, ever drinks tea or coffee. Never has. Okay. Now, the telephone call I had been dreaming of. It was the third week in December 2017. I'm in the kitchen and the phone rings. Hi, Heath. How are you? Yeah, yeah, good, Mum. A few tidbits of conversation followed it and then Heath said, Hey, Mum, I've met someone. And those five words had me tap dancing around the kitchen. <laughs> Whilst I was tapping around the kitchen, I tried to keep my voice at an even keel when I said, Tell me about her. Well, Julie is very family orientated. She loves to travel, she loves to cook, and she's Italian. Fantastic! So what has she cooked for you? I asked, imagining lasagna or ravioli or even bolognese. <laughs> oh, he said, she's only served me the one meal so far, and that was a crumpet <laughs> and a cup of tea. So, I said, being a keto man, you didn't eat the crumpet. Yes, I did, Mum. <laughs> I couldn't be so rude as not to eat the crumpet. And, he added, I drank the tea also. <laughs> well, I was no longer tap dancing. I was doing hoops throughout the house as I knew that for Heath to drink a beverage he didn't like and to break the keto regime by eating the crumpet Julie served, this young lady was someone he was all out to impress. As it turned out, I was on the money. <laughs> Again, Heath, not only did we wait a long time for this day, you did also. Determined to find a woman like Julie with grace compassion, love of family, and beautiful to boot, within and without. We both love you, in fact, you do too, Adam. The three of us <laughs> <laughs> love you so much, and we look forward to many more happy and fun-filled occasions with our sons and daughter. 